San Bonani, it's Kulagani Babo from Elevate right here on Gaga CFM. It's another Monday. It's another exciting and elevating conversation we are having with inspiring people from all walks of life. Today, we have the pleasure of inviting a youth pastor from Discovery Church, an author and a public speaker, uh, Ubongani Botswana. Coming in from Peter Maritzburg, is now in Durban. Uh, for most parts of his life. Well, it's Kuluma Naige today. Bongani, welcome to Gaga CFM. Ooh, I'm super excited to be here and what an honor and a privilege. Um, you know, it's always been my dream to be in this place. So I think it's one of the things I'm going to take on my pocket list to go to have accomplished it. 2023 has been hectic, but yo, man, it's been a blessing. Eh? Thank mm. you so much for having me. Now, tell me about Copsville, La Ozalele Corner. I'm going to ask you where are you from? Is it? No, I'm from Rustenburg or something. <laughs> tell me about yourself growing up in Maritzburg. Yo, man, growing up in, 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 in the disadvantaged community really messed me up. You know, I'm a young person who comes from uh, a, a, an environment that had so much drug addictions, had poverty, had people doing funny things, gangsterism. Uh, young boy in Jenami, you know, started doing wrong things in a very young age, you know, started sniffing glue, uh, sniffing petrol. I was addicted to petrol for more than three years. And uh, I was an alcoholic. I used to steal and leaning, get some drugs, get some things because of the environment. I always say to people that you are born looking like your mommy and daddy, but you're going to die looking like your decisions. So um, my bigger brother that I had, U Ukatleho, was looking up to him as a brother. Some susemaka ya ilusuto we zotala nati me figure zotala nati joined the wrong environment, joined the wrong people, and he got shot beyond recognition. Was shown, you know, and people predicted that I'm gonna be just like my brother. So you can tell that the environment that you get brought up into can really play a very important role in shaping your mind or destroying your mind. Mm. Now it's easy to succumb. It's easy to become what the environment is shaping you mm -hmm. to be. You easy assimilate mm. but you said something now decisions deciding destiny definitely what sort of decisions does one make to ensure that their life whatever it is wherever it is that you are that the environment that you are in you pull yourself out decisions or inside you know I think the most important thing is, is is you know one of the things that we take for granted school school is one of the things that actually takes you out and helps you to have make better decisions and also environment like ama NPOs organizations churches those environment actually help us with see pool because I mean I was helped by a church organization that helped to shape me to become the person that I'm at you know and that help you good because it people are doing one thing you know mm. is is to try to fit in is to try to please people is to try to also um we have a crab mentality and 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 you 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 try and help one to come out so we mm. have that mentality if you try and become successful if you speak eloquent english if you try and say i want to pursue this there's someone out there who's going to try and pull you down and remind you of your past that's why i always say to people that you your past is a place of reference, is not a place of resident. You don't need to live there anymore, but it's a place to say, well, hey, I've been there, done that, got the T-shirt, but I'm moving forward. Hmm. Talking about now the drug addiction, the alcohol, the, the petrol addiction, addiction, and many other things. Soon we are getting into 16 days of activism. Hmm. In your view and take, would you say that substance abuse exacerbates the issue of abuse in Makaya, hmm. perhaps from Abazali or rather Abazali Yagbantuana or even Abazali Bebotuan. Yeah, you, you know one of the things about communities that you get brought up into is 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 Joang Shilo. Some people they don't know the importance of your mental health. They don't know the importance of going for counseling. So that's why hence they find themselves drinking. Hence that's why they find them they wanna numb the pain, but they forget that with the same environment, they're gonna go back to the same pain. You know, uh, with me, it's, it's a funny story, Lega Petrol. If you sniff this thing, you're gonna get high. Mind you, I'm just a young boy. And then I just came back from a stall. His words became to play in my mind. Hey, well, if you sniff this thing, you're gonna get high. And by me sniffing that, I got 
hooked into it, you know. And because I was going through a lot as a young boy, playing soccer, parents not showing up in my games. So I'm trying to find myself. You know, so I'm trying to find myself. And then all of a sudden, I found a friend which was substance abuse. Mm. So some people, it's not that they love the substance, it's the fact that they don't have anybody to cry on. They don't have a shoulder to cry on. I it think is what is lacking. It's just lacking, you know. So, so, so that's why most people and most young people find themselves abusing these things is because they need somebody to say, I'm there for you. So when they open the fridge, the bottle is saying, I'm there for you. How did you get out? <laughs> of that particular space. <laughs> you know, the funny thing, I was in, I, 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 so I mean, I was like, um, I stayed with a lot of crazy guys. Uh, one of my friends, his name is Fortune Waganzaka. He was a uh, umzalwane, uh, you know, loved the Lord and uh, uh, involved in youth ministry. So I mean, uh, my friends, we went out to drink. It was a Saturday, it's a pooza. Let's go to pooza. They actually put a drug on my drink because uh, more born. Your friends my, my, my friends, my friends, <laughs> these are my buddies. These are the people that I'm saying, Ikazla, Mulova. Uh, you know, they put a drug on my drink. I passed out. Um, I lost my front teeth. You know, um, um, I vomited blood. My face was swollen. They stripped me naked. They took pictures of me. People that I trusted, they made fun of me. You know, and do my figure, no baba bang fika em kakweni. I stole the nangu bonga ni u u fiama pyramid fiama poise kuti bugen zagalan. The people celebrated with I. He will be just like his brother. His life is ending. Get up the next day. It's a Saturday. It's a Sunday. Nya vuga. My father is sitting next to me. He says, "You're no longer my son. Pack your stuff and leave the house." Ngala e lini rumu mawia kal. Then my friend shows up. My friend says, "Bonga ni." This life that you are living, I want you to give yourself an opportunity to come to church. Get again, bro. I don't need church. Uh, I don't want to live that life. So invited me, invited me. Kept on persisting. I didn't figure. Hey, man, I didn't have nice clothes. I was like, the way to like, when you know poverty, you know poverty. I rocked up in the venue. I sat at the back. But Shumayla, they spoke powerfully. And I was like, man. This is time for me to 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 have that transformation. If because if I don't transform, I'll transfer the same thing to the next generation. I lifted up my hand, got to Shinja. Since that day, I'm still standing. 15 years, 16 years, I'm clean. I uh, told my friends I'm not coming back. They're still waiting for me at the shop right now. Mm. Would you say that the transformation you had, the journey that you had, perhaps was a catalyst on you now? becoming another person helping others 100%. outside of those particular spaces and, and situations. 100%. And, 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 and most times people when they interview me, they ask me a question, do I regret going, I don't. I, 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 I actually believe that I am who I am is because of the journey it's because of what I've been through. And today, here yeah, I'm at, I've been to over 700 schools in South Africa. I've done motive. I don't know how many times I've held the mic and spoken to so many people, people mm -hmm. getting transformed, different provinces. I've been to all nine provinces. In Kuluma, the same message of hope. And, and if I'd never been through what I've been through, uh, I wouldn't be able to be the person that I am. But let's admit it, uh, God will take your mess and turn it into a message. God will take your, your trauma and turn it into a, a, a transformational story. So look at me today. I get to be Ekaka, see? Because of why? Because of my story. <laughs> now, because of your story now, two books have now been birthed. 100%. From your, from, from your story and your circumstances. Let me just tell, t t turn them around. So it's knocked down but out. Tell me about this one before yeah. we move to the second one. You know, when I'm when, when knocked down but not out, it's a book that I released. I finished it within a week um, because it's, some, it's about my story. It's about my journey. Um, I attended an event. I got so many stories. I attended an event and I saw this amazing speaker talking about his journey and he said he's an author of six, seven books. I was like, yo, I, at that time, I'm in Pretoria. I'm fresh in Pretoria, just relocated to start some great stuff. And then I said to this sir, sir, I don't have the money, I don't have the resources, but I do desire to write a book. And I was in school, I mean, I couldn't read and write. I failed matric, you know, I'm one of the students who never even came out of the paper, you know, but I stayed consistent. So Knocked Down But Not Out talks about a young man who was persistent, who didn't allow somebody to say no. I always say to people, no, 
the word no means next opportunity. It means start again. Mm. It means knock on another door. Mm. Don't look at that door as the end. I'm the person who says, uh, uh, knockdown talks about Guti. When people put a full stop, it's a beginning of a new sentence. It's not an end of the sentence. Mm. So I'm that young person in Kulmange Chen I speak about my life. I speak about my addictions. I speak about my family. I speak about what I've been through. Then when I told that, I said, I charge this certain amount, but because of your persistence and your hunger, I'm going to do it for you for free. And today I'm an author because of that opportunity that I took. Mm. Yeah. So tell me now about the second book. This is an exciting story. Tell me about the second book, uh, speaking about now public success, referencing also private failures. Mm. How important are private failures in your journey to ultimate success? You know, if, if, if people don't understand that private failures actually help us to become public success, Skwale Labantu, uh, wanting to be so good on Instagram, wanting to be so good out there in a the public space, in any social media platform, but deep down in their hearts, they're not dealing with the scars. What, mm. you, what you don't confess will torment you. What mm. you don't heal from will destroy you at the bigger platform. Uh, um, coming to uh, 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 Public Success Private Failure book, the funny story is, I've old, I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a person who believes in vision board. I had a vision board in my life. I said, one day I want to have a car. Uh, I've written down in my vision board, one thing it is we community work in Yasebenza. Mkulmamanja public success, private failure. I'm busy in a community work, transforming young people to Chris. I'm looking for a place just to, to wash my hands and stuff like that. Uh, I see you guys are busy. What's happening here? I'm a youth pastor. I'm leading a group of young people. I'm in Pretoria. So, so, so he sees me doing this amazing stuff. And I say, sure, sure, sure. Continue doing what you're doing, guys. I'm program is A young man, can I have your number? I love your passion. I love your zeal. Just meeting you for five minutes, I've seen that you have a vision public success, private failure. Mm. Three weeks later, that man buys me a car cash. Stranger out of nowhere, didn't know me, but saw my passion, saw what I wanted to do. And, and I always say to people, the five Ps, proper planning prevents poor performance. You cannot be a public success and a private failure because mm. your private failures, you gotta make sure to, for every trial and tribulation that you go through pri pub privately, you use that yeah. as a stepping stone publicly. Hmm. So it's now learning from the stumbling blocks and using them uh, in your journey of life. 100%. I, 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 you cannot be, I always say to people, Guti, no matter how gifted you are, how talented you are, as people, we all going to go through trials and tribulation. What connects us all here in this world is pain. Hmm. And if you don't know how to deal with the pain that you are going through, the pain is going to deal with you. So public success in a nutshell talks about leadership. That's where actually I never thought I'm going to write a second book. I wrote it during the heart of COVID. And me, now for me, COVID actually helped me to document some of the stuff that I've been through. I was able to, to inspire so many people mm -hmm. during COVID. Because why? I understood in the darker room. Kuna bantu wanna be successful, but they don't wanna pay the price. Uh, you're looking at somebody. Uh, I, I've pegged chairs before. I've been a garden boy before. Gilem komeni before. But those things that I went through, now they're gonna pay me now as I enjoy my success. Hmm. I'm definitely elevated. I'm definitely motivated. I can listen to you for hours. <laughs> but what did we have to say to a person? Uh, as I said earlier on, their life is still in shambles. Mm. They don't see a way out. What would you have to say to that person? I would say to that person, uh, whatever situation that you are going through right now, make sure you go through it properly. Let me repeat that again. Why is Bongani saying this? Make sure that you go through it properly because every storm has an end. Mm. The sun will come out. You One day when you're sitting as a CEO, one day when you're sitting and you're a boss, you'll remember where you come from. Today, I mean, trust me, what I've been through has taught me so many things. I've been rejected. I've been told that I'm a failure. I've been told I'll be a amount to nothing. I was told by teachers, coming out of, not coming out on a newspaper. I was told so many things, but I told myself that one day I'm gonna make it. Now that I'm on top, I know how to treat people right because of my storm. If I never went through what I went through, mm. I wouldn't be able to treat people the way I treat them today. So whatever that you are going through, 
Don't stop knocking. Look for a mentor. Find somebody to mentor you, to journey with you, to shape you, to help you to become the person that you want to become. And then one day when you sit in that boardroom office, you'll be smiling and say, I come there, but look where I am now. And then you'll open the next door for the next generation. Go out there, inspire and impact and influence the next generation. Well, that's Elevate right here on Gaga CFM. I have no words after that. So, thank you so much, Mungani, for joining us and coming through. Author of two books, uh, it is uh, Public Success and Private Failure. Uh, and then another one, the first one, Not Down But Out. Where do we start to find and follow you and where do we get the books? So, so it's very simple. Like the sister said earlier on, if struggling with my surname, I'm going to spell it to you. But the E, what's the file? It's fancy. It's Bongo. So, my name is Bongo. Mangani puts one in all social media platforms, and then you can contact me on 083-993-4046. And then you can reach out to me, then you can get the book. The book goes for 250, and but trust me, it's going to really transform your entire life. Make sure you get the copy. That's Mwanda Potswane, right here on Elevate on Gaga CFM. Be inspired, be motivated, and definitely be elevated.